Jeffrey Phillips. Good morning, Dennis. Felonious assault has been filed under Ohio Revised Code 2903.11. That's a felony of the second degree. A felony of the second degree has a maximum penalty of eight years in prison and $15,000 as the fine. Failed to comply with the order of a police officer. Filed under 2921.33. Felony of the third degree, maximum penalty five years in prison, $10,000 as the fine. Resisting arrest, filed under 2921.33, felony of the fourth degree, maximum penalty 18 months in prison, $5,000 as a fine. Leaving the scene, filed under 4549.021, first degree misdemeanor, the maximum penalty there, $1,000, six months in jail. You have two minor misdemeanors. Each of these minor misdemeanors is punishable by a maximum $150 fine. The first is seatbelt required under 4513.263. The second is reckless operation under 4511.201. Mr. Phillips, do you understand the nature of the charges? Do you understand the maximum penalties that I've described here today? You have the right to have a lawyer represent you. That right extends throughout the proceedings. If you are indigent, that means without funds, I will appoint a lawyer to represent you at no cost to you. Do you understand your right to counsel? Yes, I do. All right. No plea will be taken on these charges because several of them are felonies. Instead, these cases will be set for a preliminary hearing. At a preliminary hearing, the prosecuting attorney, the state's attorney, will have the opportunity to present evidence. The prosecutor will try to prove that there is probable cause to believe that you committed these offenses. If the prosecutor meets this burden of probable cause, these cases will be transferred to the Lorain County Court of Common Pleas, where they'll be presented to the grand jury session are you going to hire a lawyer to represent you? Yes, I actually do have one. My family is going to speak with right now. All right. The time and date of your hearing will be listed on an entry that we fax over to the jail. Let your lawyer have that time and date so that he or she can get it on their schedule as soon as possible. By law, this hearing will be held within 10 days of the time that you were taken into custody. Now, on the issue of bond, do you have a job, Mr. Phillips? Yes, I actually do. Where do you work and for how long? I worked at Bob Morris Pontiac Cadillac Detailing for about nine months. Okay. And what is your exact address? My exact address is 2028 East 41st Street, Lorain, Ohio. Do you, 05. Okay. Do you own, rent, or live with someone else at that address? I was staying with my mom and my dad. Okay. Wait just a minute here. Let's see. Um, Ms. Morgan, I see that Mr. Phillips has a history of similar behavior. We've got a reckless operation, resisting arrest and obstructing from 2008. I don't see any contempts. Uh, do you have any recommendation on bond? Uh, yes, Your Honor. I'd like a significant cash bond. First of all, they were trying to serve a warrant, an active warrant through uh, the Lorraine Police Department for domestic violence on him. And, that, and as you mentioned, he does have a history of fleeing. My report indicates extensive criminal history to include aggravated robbery, aggravated robbery with a gun, failure to comply in the resisting. Uh, he obviously fled the scene when the officers were trying to apprehend him at this time. I would note that when he was finally appre apprehended, and he did uh, drive his car directly at two officers, um, he made a statement uh, regarding himself that he wanted the officers to shoot him in the head and he wanted to die. He also made the statement um, that before uh, they apprehended him, he was going to run his ass down and blow his effing brains out, referring to the officers. Okay. All right, Mr. Phillips. Looks like you are a risk to the